Hi viewers, I'm delighted to share with you today another beautiful stunning timepiece from Ball. So here we go. Now this is the Ball Engineer GMT2 with this special unique time zone feature. So let's have a look at this in detail and go over the specs. Now Ball do quite a lot of different style watches and especially this engineer range there are a lot of different models more than one gmt watch as well so the chances of finding a watch that um, is made by ball that you don't see that often is quite high because there's so many to choose from and this is another one that seems to be fairly rare and you can't find too much information online about this beauty but um it really is a very special watch very unique feature the overall case size is a nice 40 mil compact size the case thickness is just 12.3 mil the lug to lug is just 47 mil and the lug width is 20 mil now as you can see this is a gmt watch but it's not an ordinary gmt watch it has a very unique window here which displays the second time zone so you just unscrew the crown to set it set the night set the time in a normal way and then to set the second time zone you just put it out to the first position and just turn it to whatever time you want to set it to and then turn the other way to change the date. And that's it. And now it shows the time in that indicator there for the tech for the second time zone. What also makes this watch stand out is the interesting chapter ring inside the glass, which is a layer above the dial, as you can see there just gives it that extra 3D look and I think that works well now this is um, anti-shock and anti-magnetic as well and it is water resistant to 100 meters and of course you've got the tritium tube illuminations on the markers and the hands and also the second time zone window there are tritium tubes underneath that so they will illuminate as well in the dark which we'll see later now this is a lovely black dial with a, a glossy finish the glass is sapphire and this glass is anti-reflective but it is domed so it, it's not doing that great a job at minimizing reflections so um yeah not sure about that but that's uh fine the bracelet is a lovely stainless steel bracelet that is finished to perfection you have these center polished links that are raised above the rest of the bracelet the outer links are all brushed the sides are polished and it just screams quality really is well done and i think the case and the bracelet are very similar if not the same as the other ball engineer models such as the marvelite i'm pretty sure that's the same bracelet and it's really really well done the butterfly clasp there is very well engraved with the ball logo it's not laser etching that is proper deep engraving so that looks, that looks very smart the case back true to ball is a very well finished case back with a deep embossing of the rr logo and the wording and then of course you've got being a gmt watch you have markings showing all the different time zones for each country which is quite useful actually that's a very attractive case back 
and also quite functional at the same time, which is great. The sides of the case are very highly polished and beautifully formed, very curvaceous. The screwing crown is signed with the RR insignia. And like most ball watches, is quite a good size, very easy to grip and get hold of. The one thing I'm not too sure about is the marking there that says two zone. That arrow looks a little bit too industrial to be on a dial like this. But um, that's, yeah, it's not a big deal, but could have been a bit more in keeping with the rest of the watch, I think. Now, frustratingly, I have not been able to find what the movement that powers this watch is exactly. I've searched everywhere and I cannot find if anyone knows. I would be very grateful to hear that. I assume it is the standard ETA movement um, for a GMT watch regulated by Ball. They usually use ETA regulated movements for their own in-house, but um, I'm not sure. It's certainly been very accurate and a very reliable movement, so does it really matter? So looking at that dial in more detail, you can see all the markers are filled with tritium tubes. The hour hand, the minute hand and the second hand all have a strip of the tritium on there as well. The inner chapter ring is split in two and the top bit is red as you can see and then the bottom half is black. And it all looks very, very smart. The sapphire glass has a very shapely dome profile to it. Always looks good on a watch of this size. And you can see the lugs are great shape as well. They curve downwards and uh, it makes the watch hug the wrist perfectly. So with that being said, let me show you a wrist shot now. Yeah, you've got to admit that does look great on the wrist. I'm not usually a big fan of polished center links, but with this ball design bracelet, I think it actually is better with polished links. It looks fantastic. And I think maybe because they're raised above the other brush links, it really does look classy and works very well. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you now what it looks like in the dark with all the wonderful tritium illuminations. So that's it for this. I'm sure you'll agree this is another very attractive and stylish looking watch from Ball. I don't have any real negatives to say about it at all, apart from that two zone graphic on the dial, which is a little bit ugly. But other than that, this watch is an absolute stunner and I love it. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.